my channel. So today I am doing a kind of bronzed, coppery, summery inspired makeup look using all products that you can get from one place. So if you guys like the products that I'm using, you can just do a one stop shop and that is look fantastic. If you guys didn't already know, I'm actually an ambassador for Look Fantastic, so that means we do a bit of work together and I love showcasing their Look Fantastic beauty box each month for you guys on my Snapchat and it means if anything exclusive happens with them, I can let you guys know. So yeah, today I am doing this look using all products that you can get there. This video is not sponsored before you say that, I just thought sometimes it's help if you like um, a makeup look, getting all the products in one place is so much easier so you can just pop it all in one basket and it all arrives together if that makes sense yeah i will leave all the links to all the products that i've used down below as long as look fantastic social medias as well because their instagram feed is one of my favorites you guys are probably going to leave comments down below going but i've used so many different products that i've never even tried before in this video and i really really love the way that they came out and some of them are now definitely some staples like i tried a new foundation and concealer setting powder i didn't use laura mercier today guys yeah, so if you like the look of this makeup look, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started with the tutorial. To start off, we want to glow from within, so I'm using the Illamasqua Radiance Veil Primer all over my face. Face? face as always with my Real Techniques Multitask brush. Then for foundation, I'm trying the Stila Aqua Serum or Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. Cause I have a tanned neck and a pale face. I'm mixing two together. I'm mixing the colors medium and tan together. Obviously you don't have to do this. I just got the shade medium and it was too beige for me. So I got the color tan so it would add a bit more warmth to match the color of my tan and it made the perfect shade to color match. For eyebrows, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit in Medium Dark and Benefit Gimme Brow. And for concealer, using the Maybelline Age Rewind. I love this concealer so much. It is so creamy but full coverage but because it's so creamy it's so much easier to blend sometimes with full coverage concealers they can be so like not like stiff but just really difficult to blend out on my face but this one blends out like a dream and i'm just using a kind of duo fiber buffer brush to do this Then for kind of like a cream bronzing effect, I'm using the Do You Hula from Benefit and just using this around the perimeters of my face to add a bit of a bronze tint to my skin. And then I am going in with the Bare Minerals Well Rested Brightening Powder. I'm obsessed with this. It looks so, you can just see such a difference in the footage. It really, really brightens up under the eyes and it also adds coverage as well because technically it's just a mineral concealer rather than a setting powder. And I'm just pressing that into the skin rather than kind of dusting it just because pressing it gives maximum coverage and adds the most brightness and absorbs the most product. Then using my favorite bourgeois bronzer and it smells delicious as you can tell. I'm taking a really big fluffy brush and just bronzing all around my skin, basically where we put that cream bronzer and just using this to set it in place. It wouldn't be a Rachel Leary tutorial without a shimmery bronzer and this is Betty Luminizer by The Balm. I'm taking a big fluffy brush again and just dusting this all around so we look super bronzy and summery and just dewy. Then taking my favorite blusher for summer. You guys have seen me use this before. This is the Balm Big Mama. It's the perfect, or oh, is it Big Mama or Hot Mama? I think it was Big Mama. The perfect rose gold color. And then taking Mary Luminizer by the Balm. I swear the Balm just do like the best face products ever. And I'm just using that to highlight. This highlighter is just so pigmented. As you can see, when I looked in the viewfinder, I was done. I'm obsessed. I've used this loads of times, and I know you guys have seen it uh, being used loads of times before. I swear it's like a beauty guru's top highlighter. Once you are glowing from the gods, it's time to move on to the eyes. I'm 
taking the bronze that we used on our face and just buffing that into the crease because you guys don't need an extra shadow. You can just multi-use the products that you're already using. And this is the perfect kind of warm toned color for the crease. And like I said, just taking a fluffy brush and just blending that in. Then taking this dark matte brown color from the Maybelline The Nudes palette. It's kind of got a bronzy tone to it, so I thought it was perfect for this look. I'm just taking the same brush and buffing that into the crease again, slightly further down than the previous color. Then taking this pigment from the Balm, this is You by I Fly, I think, and just pressing that all over my lid. As you can see, this is so up my street. It is the perfect coppery, shimmery color, and it really makes bluey, greeny eyes pop. And then from the same palette, taking this shimmery bronzer shade, just using that to kind of transition between the pigment and the crease colors and add a more bronzy tone to the look. Then taking this darkest matte brown and just really concentrating this on the outer part of the eye, not taking it too far in, but just concentrating it, like I said, in the outermost part, just to kind of create a more sultry, smoky, coppery, bronzed look. Then I'm basically repeating what I did on the top on the bottom. So running that same pigment along the bottom of the eye and then taking that shimmery brown color just along the outer part and then connecting in the middle. Then I am mixing these two shimmery colors to really highlight my inner corner and kind of create a light to dark effect going obviously from the inner corner all the way to the outer part of my eye. Then I'm just applying mascara. This is Maybelline Lash Sensational. But obviously, you know me, I'm gonna go in with false lashes afterwards, but you can just leave it as just mascara and this is what it looks like. But I'm gonna be taking the Ardell Wispies, but as you can see, I've placed individual eyelashes just on the outer part, just to make it a bit more cat eye and a bit more wispy. I've been loving customizing lashes at the moment and obsessed with it. Now for the lip, I'm taking Illamasqua Tease Lipstick all over. This is really, really pale, so I do like to pat it in and just press the product into my lip so I kind of take off some of the excess onto my fingers so it's not so intense. Then going in with this amazing lip gloss from Elizabeth Arden, it is the Sunset Bronze, part of their holographic lip gloss. I think it was limited edition, but there are still other colors available. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to check out Look Fantastic, and if if you want to shop the look, all the links are down below. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.